name is Tom Honeyman. I'm the Software Program Manager at the ARDC. And today I'll be talking about the plans for adoption of the FAIR for Research Software Principles by the ARDC. The ARDC is a transformational initiative that enables Australian research community and industry access to nationally significant, leading edge data intensive e-infrastructure, platforms, skills, and collections of high quality data. We are a national digital research infrastructure facility operating under the National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy or NCRIS scheme. Uh, we conduct our activities under a number of themes grouped into portfolios, and these are data and services, platforms and software, storage and compute, and people and policy. Uh, increasingly, we are turning to projects that capture larger cross theme functionality. Uh, we're calling them thematic research data commons. Uh, we have initial projects in um, humanities and social sciences, and what we call a translational data challenge around bushfires. So let's just give you a sense of the kind of organization I'm joining from. So uh, there is one theme, however, that cross cuts all of our activities, and that is FAIR. And so in looking to adopt a set of principles, that are more closely aligned with the uh, with application to software outputs, the FAIR for RS principles are a pretty natural fit for us. We've been puzzling for some time over how we might apply the FAIR principles to research software and are only too happy to align ourselves with community efforts to define them. I'm gonna jump across the bubbles a bit to talk about the various ways that the FAIR for RS principles will either be adopted, advocated for, or otherwise socialized in Australia with action by the ARDC. Speaking of direct adoption, we don't currently develop a lot of research software within the ARDC, but we feel that in adopting the FAIR for RS principles, it is important to show that we are in fact going to the effort of making our own software FAIR. So to this end, we'll be properly publishing our in-house software relating to our international GeoSample number or IGSN minting service uh, to show to our partners that it can be done, that we're not just asking others to do so. The software team in the ARDC, myself and our software project coordinator, Paula Andrea Martinez, who I can see is on the call today, uh, will be conducting sessions for ARDC staff, especially the broad array of external facing roles in the ARDC to help them understand and interpret the FAIR for RS principles. We have a large number of staff who regularly communicate the FAIR principles as they relate to data and especially metadata in the form of consultancies. We have a large number of communities that we facilitate across our various themes within which there are people who create research software. So getting our own staff on board with the FAIR for RS principles is an important first step. Finally, we have policy that sets expectations about outputs from our co-investment program uh, programs. We will be looking to update the existing policy to reference the FAIR for RS principles as specifically relevant when considering software outputs from new co-investments. We can't retrospectively place conditions on our existing co-investment projects. We will, however, encourage and assist where there is interest in doing so. Underpinning a lot of our adoption will be the development of materials to communicate the principles outwards and how to apply them in different contexts. We have already developed some complementary materials around software publishing whoops, uh, and uh, navigating software licensing. Uh, we also reference a lot of materials produced by organizations present in this workshop, but we need to go much further. The Fed data self-assessment tool was a valuable tool of engagement with a broad range of stakeholders uh, for the AIDC, not just data owners, but managers, policy makers, support staff, uh, amongst others. We want to produce a complementary tool to target these stakeholders so that they can better understand what is being asked of software owners or developers. We feel that this is a change that must be visible, not just to software authors, but also to the people around them who perhaps do not understand the ins and outs of software development and publishing. We'll also be running webinars on the principles targeting specific communities facilitated by the ARDC and also the broader community. 
we'll produce some general guidance on uh, our website, which is very commonly adopted by partner research institutions in Australia, pretty much verbatim, leading to consistent messaging nationally. Our platforms program is a fairly obviously connected to our adoption of the Fair for RS principles. We define a platform as a set of online services, often with associated integration and or uh, orchestration functions and connections to specific data resources that enable researchers to collect or generate data, analyze those data, and produce outputs that can be made fair. To date, we've invested uh, 21.7 million Australian dollars in 26 platforms uh, projects covering the breadth of our national science and research priorities and national research infrastructure roadmap focus areas. We don't see the platforms themselves as targets of the Fair for RS principles directly, but can see that within them, there are components that might be targets for making fair or that they create environments for software authors and so expose an environment for encouraging fair for RS adoption by users or contributors. The platforms themselves are gateways through which we can reach specific national research communities, the users of these platforms. We do, not, we do this through the facilitation of a community of platforms developers. Once the Fair for RS principles are formally published, we'll be targeting this community with webinars and assistance to adopt or further spread the principles. Some of these platforms are environments in which tools developers can develop custom workflow components to be used within the platform. ARDC co-investments are currently required to make data outputs fair, and in adopting the Fair for RS principles, we'll be encouraging the platforms to add guidance to drive adoption of the Fair for RS principles by the tools developers operating within the communities they lead. Some of these platforms incorporate or are looking to incorporate Jupyter Hub creating an environment for software authorship. We are looking at ways uh, that uh, appropriately place guidance or functionality um, might encourage users of these platforms that are writing code in the form of computational notebooks to consider making these outputs fair. In some cases, the platforms developers have said they may be interested in applying the fair principles to their outputs. This community of platforms developers will be looking uh, will be looking to work through a set of fair principles for platforms uh, in the coming year or two, uh, particularly through an RDA uh, group, hopefully, and this will likely reference the fair for RS principles um, within it. But amongst the 26, uh, there are one or two platforms that may be suitable to adopt the principles directly. And so we're investigating whether we can help them to do, do so um, and thus produce an exemplar um, amongst those platforms. One of our themes is in uh, policy adoption, specifically related to data. We've been doing this for a great many years, especially through the work of one of our predecessor organizations from which we were formed, the Australian National Data Service or ANS. Since the release of the FAIR principles and prior to that in messaging what we called the uh, four transformations, we've been lobbying and making policy submissions to government research and industry forums and organizations, pushing for the value for, of data for many years. The recently revised scope of the OECD recommendation concerning access to research data from public funding, uh, to which Australia is a signatory, expands now to include research software outputs. Uh, this is our current primary reference uh, document uh, for policy work, um, for our advocacy work rather. And our key messaging will be to pursue the uptake of fair data, fair software and open access. Within the uh, software program at the AIDC, we're working towards gathering the raw data to make the case for fair software. We have impact stories, metrics and other materials for data, but an early uh, focus for the software program within the AIDC is to build out the national evidence for pursuing fair research software. Without this evidential base, it would be quite hard to make the case uh, on the policy front. Uh, I will be talking more about how we intend to achieve this in session four tomorrow morning. And with that, uh, once it loads, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Excellent, thank you, Tom. Uh, very good timekeeping. Uh, 
So I think we probably have time for maybe one question, if anybody has, or I don't think that there's anything in the document at the moment. Um, I don't see any hands, so... Um, oh, Carol, hand. If you Carol, you're muted. Hey, that's very exciting. Um, your um, justification of FAIR software, I'm really interested in that. Um, will you be making that uh, available to others? Because I'm doing something similar at the moment at the European level, um, you know, having to make the case because it might seem obvious to us, but it isn't at all obvious to policymakers and funders. Well, uh, I don't know if I would say uh, fair directly, but I did release a couple of months ago a, um, a, a national agenda um, for research software in Australia. And in that document, what we were primarily looking at was uh, the uh, justification and pathway to recognition of research software as a first class output of research. Um, and so I guess you could say that is somewhat related uh, uh, in the sense that, um, uh, it's seeking to do similar things to making software fair, but seeking to do more than that. Um, and, uh, but for fair specifically, some of it relates to just the position that we have on fair as an organization, um, and expanding that outwards, um, into other related objects, which has always been on our agenda. Yeah. I think it's very helpful to, I've used your documents in the past actually, because the way to leverage um, other policymakers, particularly at the governmental level, is to point to competitors. And, uh, and so the number gathering together these kinds of, of uh, de declarations, France, for example, has some excellent declarations, really helps. Thank you. So thank you for your work. Thank you for your work.